Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. These are my friends Sandy and Roman, and you may recognize them from the videos we did in the past with Sierra at, at their facility, Prescott's Paws and Claws. And they really helped Sierra out with a really great diet when she was going through all of her cancer stuff. And they're also hooking up Meadow with a wonderful diet as well. So they came out to my property just recently to camp, and they brought their 19-foot travel trailer that they redid on the interior, which we'll take a look at shortly. We wanted to do an overnight power system test of what you see here, consisting of an AC200L, and then the brand new B300K expansion batteries, each of those have 2,764 watts of power. So adding up the AC200L and the two B300Ks, that gives you a total wattage of 7,528 watts in your battery bank to push this trailer all night long. Now going on the interior here, you'll see Sandy and Roman, they spared no expense at decking this thing out. You know, it honestly has a feel of one of those fancy tiny homes because it's got modern appliances, Big old kitchen area, as well as the slide out there, houses two lazy boys. You've got a, a bathroom with a stand-up shower and then a separate toilet, as well as a separate sink. And then that slide-out extension, like I was mentioning, these lazy boys are lined up. So you can enjoy a nice evening in front of the television with the surround sound system. And once that's done and ready to crash out, you just go into your bedroom area with a nice queen size bed and this divider wall for a little bit of privacy. All right, we are slip sliding over to Chad's place. I had the uh, batteries delivered to my buddy's uh, residence, and so we're going to pick him up right now. But of course, the rain has to come down like crazy right before we go over, making these roads almost impassable. And Blow It has these new batteries, they're called B300K, and they're 2,700 and some change as far as, uh, as, as, far as wattage goes. So lots of, lots of battery storage. So we've got two of those that we're gonna be hooking up to the AC200L. So we're gonna see how that works for Sandy and Roman and their camper. And we're running a little AC unit in there. We're not gonna run the one that's that's actually installed on the camper because it pulls way too much wattage. But there's like a little one on wheels that we can run that pulls like, like maybe 700 watts at, at max. And with this power system that we'll have for them, they can go in the evening time with 7,500 watts of power. And we, <laughs> we are caking the truck with mud right now. I'm spinning my wheels getting up this hill. I did not expect this much rain to be coming down. It's been raining like for the last hour and a half. And Sandy and Roman were able to make it here, but you can see on the camper, uh, we go up here, especially the truck, it's got lots of mud on it. And we've got the power washer right now. Roman's using it to clear off his truck. So. Just a little too short. <laughs> we need like a five foot extension. Sandy and Roman have been asking me which power system setup they think would be most ideal for their camper so they could go into the forest for an entire weekend and have everything online and have no lapses in power. The combination of the AC200L with the 2000 watts built into that power station, as well as the two B300K expansion batteries, together all of that provides over 7500 watts of power which will allow them to run the creature comforts they have in their camper. This combo of bloody products is real easy to set up. It's literally plug and play. And that's what I love about these power systems is that it doesn't require a massive amount of understanding of electronics in order to get your system up and running in no time flat. This LifePo 4 battery setup can kick out 2400 watts of continuous power with a pure sine wave inverter and have a surge up to 3600 watts. So we had no problem later that evening hanging out, watching the big screen TV with the surround sound system with the air conditioning on and all the lights on and the fans and everything like that before we crashed out for the night. We were all really interested to see just how much battery was used during the evening time. When Sandy and Roman went to sleep, they had 100% charge on the Blue Eddy system. And then we woke up in the morning and they still had 24% left. And keep in mind, that was with that battery uh, or, or with the air conditioner and the fridge running all night long. All right, so we got the first night in the camper. We were running the AC200L and the new B300K battery expansion packs. 
And I've shown the interior. I mean, you guys, when you redid this camper, it looks like a model home inside. So you did an excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, you were running last night. But what, what were you running during the evening time? Just to give us an idea of the power draw. Uh, it was about 1,200 or so. 1,200 watts? Yeah. And what devices were those? That was running the refrigerator. That was running a portable AC. That was doing a TV. That was doing a fan and a couple uh usb items okay and then after we we stopped watching tv last night and kind of shut things down and you you went to bed did you look at the app and see how much power you were pulling after the tv was off and stuff yeah we were still we were still doing quite a bit and that was because the ac was running non-stop until i figured out how to adjust the ac to where when it reaches the temperature it would shut off so at that point gotcha. it was just doing the refrigerator which was about 300 watts so if you got everything dialed in and you got your ac set to where it's going to shut off when it reaches the desired temperature um, you can go all night so that that that, that was we were, what we were going for was that y'all could get out and you could be like energy independent at least for like one full day yeah. you know to the evening time and then we'll get you all going with solar and everything like that. And uh, just let us know how things go going forward. I mean, we're going to go out and camp us. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll definitely hook up. But, uh, you know, let me know how the experience is with the battery going forward. Because these yeah. expansion kits, these are the brand new ones. So we're one of the first people to use them. Awesome. Yeah, I love the sleek nature of them, too, with, like, they're pretty compact. They're not big like the other ones. Yeah. So they're doing a really good job of making these things pretty portable. Yeah, if you want to go camping and you don't want to sweat and you need air conditioning, this is the way to go. So, I mean, I think that's the most important thing. We all want AC, so. Yeah. Yeah, so. It, it, it's such a game changer. It makes camping going from, like, sometimes bearable to, like, just insanely comfortable. Yes. You know? Yes. Well, cool. All well, right. thanks for showing us your camper. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, what's up, everyone? In closing here, I want to let you know today's the first day that the B300K is going on sale. And I wanted to talk about what the pricing is for this. So the B300K, there's a special sale price going on until 927. So that's September 27th at 7 p.m. And the launch price is $1,199, which is a per watt cost of 43 cents, which is absolutely phenomenal because, you know, not too long ago, it was about a dollar per, per watt for the cost. And 43 cents is really good for an initial price. You can also pair the B300K with the AC300 and the AC500. So I have links in the video description below that gives you a percentage off on each of those. And if you use those links, then you can you know, take advantage of the sale price for the next month and get additional um, you know, discounts. So if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. I'm really impressed with these batteries. They do a great job, easy to work with. Like I said in the video, you know, they're, they're plug and play and Blue Audi always stands behind their stuff. So check out the links in the video description below. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section and thank you for watching.